Welcome to my first voiceover video. English is not my first language, so please excuse my accent. In this video, I'll be reviewing the travel apps feature of the Garmin Drive Assist 51 device. I'll also provide a few notes comparing the Drive Assist device with the old Nuvicam device. According to the official documentation, the travel apps feature captures a fast motion video of your trip, which allows you to share a short video of all the places you travel. The feature captures video frames at a set distance interval. For example, it can capture one video frame for every kilometer or, a, or mile of your travel. The device sets the distance interval automatically based on the length of your route and the space available in your memory card. First, a few words on how I will be making the comparison. I have automated the process of creating a time-lapse from Garmin's camera recordings. I concatenate all the chunks of the video. The Garmin software is recording all the video in one minute or less video files. Then, I sample approximately one frame per second and render them into a new video. The only thing left is to swap music and I'm ready for publishing. This process takes a lot of hard drive space and is time consuming, especially if you don't have a solid state drive. Another problem is that driving on a mountain road or in a city can result in dizzying video. Travel Apps was promising to solve this. And it did. City footage is a lot more pleasant to look at. Driving on a curvy road produces slightly better results than the manual variant, but long stops produce far shorter results. It still can be improved, but so far I'm happy with it. The final result from 7.5 hour drive was only 6 minutes and 13 seconds, compared to the 7 minutes and 20 seconds of the manual timelapse, although the file was more than 200 megabytes larger. A few notes on the devices. The old Nuvicam was very unreliable, it was crashing, recording video upside down or with weird colors and was, as a whole, very sensitive to temperature. A serious problem for a device you stick on your windshield. The new drive assist feels slightly better. It, cra it crashed once, but that was when it was on my room window with no AC and the sun shining directly into it. It was so hot that I could barely touch it. It's more takes less space and is harder to accidentally change the camera direction. However, it is practically impossible to detach it or reattach it to the stand without moving it, so the end result is basically the same. I like the magnetic stand of the Nuvicam, although it was a little noisy. Unlike the old Nuvicam, Drive Assist did not detect any false accidents while I was driving on an uneven road. And the new feature, detecting the moving traffic in front of me, was working fine once it was entirely correct but the other time it was activated was more of a border case. Anyway, it was not too annoying. This is from me. I will let you enjoy some music for the rest of the video.